Hey everybody, Rick here, and welcome back to another episode of Civilization VI. We're playing as Saladin, and last episode we built Aleppo, our fourth city. So right now we've got Cairo, our capital. We've got Damascus, which is actually growing pretty well. Uh, and we've got Homes down here, which is starting to grow pretty well as well. Aleppo, brand new, 13 turns left till we get a monument. We found a encampment here, so we're going to have to take that out as soon as possible. And I've got a missionary who's just about ready to spread some religion in Madrid. So let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. Let's see, I'm going to send this guy around. It looks like we've got a heavy chariot from Kabul trying to help us get rid of this barbarian threat. That's very helpful. Here we go. My missionary is going to need to... It says... Must be adjacent to city center in order to spread religion. So I'm going to just move it right there. And bam. Pachydermianism spread to Madrid. Hopefully he's not going to be too sore about that. It doesn't look like he has a religion. It looks like he has a pantheon. So maybe he won't be too upset about me spreading religion. Let's hope. And it looks like though I spread some Pachydermianism, it may not have caught on. Am I going to need to spread it again? Maybe, perhaps. Man is a military animal. Gunpowder has been researched. Okay, let's see. Let's try to spread it again. There we go. 200 plus pachydermianism. Now you're following pachydermianism. And we get some science for doing that too. It's a nice little perk that we get as Arabia is every time we spread science to a foreign city, or every time we spread religion to a foreign city, we get a science bonus. All right, open the tech tree. Let's go ahead and pick some tech. So I've got sailing there still, but it's kind of irrelevant because I don't have any cities that have any harbors. So I'm not going to worry about sailing just yet. Banking, however, has been boosted. I can get that in five turns. That'll help our gold production out pretty significantly. And also will lead to economics. Not a bad route to go there. Sanitation is going to give us medics and sewers, which is going to give us housing. That's going to be boosted if I build two neighborhoods. I don't have access to neighborhoods just yet. Let's go ahead and do banking. That's fine. Let's do banking. And it looks as though that encampment is now gone. Thanks to Sumeria and Gilgamesh. Now, Gilgamesh, I talked about him last episode because he's our main threat right now. If we actually go into our demographics, you'll see that Sumeria is leading us in science with us in second place. We're leading culturally, and Germany is actually leading religious. I was leading in religion for a moment. Now it looks like I've fallen into fourth. I need to take first place when it comes to my science, and I don't like the look of these knights and this horseman coming my way. I'm wondering, does Sumeria have something up their sleeve? Are they going to try to spring an attack on me? They better not. I may have to build some units just to make sure that we're safe from any attack that they may be planning. I can claim a great person? Who can I claim? Another great scientist, Emily du Chalet. I'm going to go ahead and claim you. And we need production in Cairo, so I was just talking about building up our defenses. So let's go ahead and see what we have access to. We got catapults. We got mamluks, which are our special unit. It's a, It replaces the knight. Melee strength of 48. It's going to take five turns to get one of those. And we have access to horses, don't we? So let's go ahead and build that maluk. Mamluk, I'm sorry. And unit needs orders. Ah, oh, that's my great scientist. Let's go ahead and move you right on the campus. And triggering this is going to give a Eureka moment for three random texts from the Renaissance or Industrial Era. So we're going to do that. Eureka moment for cartography, economics, and rifling. Banking still has three turns left. And it looks like diplomatic service has 16 turns left. So we've got some work to do as far as our civics go, but banking is just right around the corner. Holy moly, look at all the units Kabul has. Kabul has so many units. Am I the suzerain for them? I am, thankfully. And what's cool about being the suzerain with Kabul is that I can go to them and I can actually levy military, which only costs 905 gold. I don't have 905 gold. It's kind of a moot point at this point. But for 30 turns, I will take control of their military. That's pretty nice. So I don't necessarily need to have my military. Ooh, I can upgrade you to a Mamluk right now for 180 gold. Nice. I don't need to have a beefy military. I just need to have 900 gold, really and then I can protect myself. So it's really nice having Kabul with all of its units. I can go ahead and use them if I ever needed to. And Brussels too. Brussels has a pretty good military as well. They want me to recruit a great merchant and Kabul wants me to construct an encampment. I, I could probably in construct an encampment. That's not a bad idea. Maybe around here, maybe in this pass. That way, if they try to rush me, I'll be able to cut them off. Once my borders expand, building an encampment right here, that would actually be pretty smart. Let's pick a new tech. 
which tech are we going to pick? Okay. Let's go ahead and do metal casting first. That'll give us some bard. Se os ha juzgado por vuestros pecados. You have transgressed against my kingdom and the kingdom of God. You must answer for your sins. Spain just declared war on us. Holy moly. Okay, surprise war on us. What a bunch of jerks. Okay, so I was going to go take out some encampments, but it looks like now I'm going to have to send my troops back to defend myself. He's bringing in a couple catapults, three catapults, and a heavy archer. Luckily, Cairo has some walls, so I will be able to bombard. And good thing I'm still the suzerain of Kabul because they're gonna back me up as well. Okay, I've got a couple units here I'm gonna have to send down south. And like I said at the beginning of this game, luckily we have these mountains too. So it's gonna kind of block them in. Okay, I can go ahead and attack here. That's a pretty major victory. I'm gonna attack that catapult and start sending all of my units on over here. Now, my fear is that they're going to pillage some uh, tiles, and I have a feeling they will. It would be weird if they didn't. Oh, weird. Okay. They've actually decided to... Okay, I see what they're doing. He pulled back his catapult. His other catapult launched at me, and then his heavy chariot is attacking me. Let's see, how much damage did they manage to do? My Mamluk actually comes out looking pretty good after that attack. I am going to send him back, though, because if I move him in here, then he's going to be attacked by this catapult, this catapult, and this heavy chariot. And that's probably going to be the end of the career of this Mamluk. So I want to preserve him as long as I can. I'm going to move him back. So Spain has a little problem with declaring war, apparently. They declared war on Sumeria. Didn't go too well for them. And they're declaring war on me as well. And I have a feeling it's not going to go too well for them. Okay, I need to trade again. Okay, I'm currently making negative 1.4 gold, which ain't good. Let's see, who's going to give me some good gold? Geneva. And some science as well. There we go. That'll put us back in the black. And we can start moving the rest of our units over. Here we go. Heavy chariot. Start making your way over nice and slowly. Oh, what's this? Aleppo is following Protestantism? I don't like that at all. Okay, unit has orders, it's you. You're just gonna stay put there, buddy. Stay put there. Okay, they keep scooting in towards me. But they're going real slow, like. Metal casting has been researched. It's time for some new research. And I think that I just researched what I need to get bombard. I did. So I can actually build bombards now, which will actually help me quite a bit. Let's get printing here. Gonna go the printing route here, and I've got an envoy. I'm gonna send this envoy to Geneva. It's really weird that Germany's the suzerain of Geneva because they're supposed to hate city states. Uh, apparently, not so much this time. I'm gonna go ahead and try to become suzerain, though. I wanna be suzerain with all the city states around my land. Okay, and we've got now a catapult here. Looks like I could probably take it out. If I move this. Mumluck over. He should be able to attack. Finish him off. Perfect. Okay, that's one catapult down. One less catapult to worry about. We've got a very damaged catapult here. I could probably take that out very soon. Gonna continue to move the rest of my units on over. I don't think that this attack is gonna go very well for Spain. And the catapults are now pulling back. And I'm gonna use this surprise declaration of war from Spain as an excuse just to try to take him out as best I can. So I'm going to develop some units out of Cairo. And I'm going to try to take out Spain if I can. Take him out as much as I can. We got some production in Aleppo. Aleppo, let's go with a granary. Let's go ahead and get your population up. I am so glad. I said it before. I'll say it again. That Kabul is on our side. Their units are protecting me up north. And I've got a promotion over here from my Mamluk. I'm going to have to give him that next turn. Ooh, I wonder what your promotion's gonna give you, Mamluk. You're doing such a great job. Let's see, Mamluk. You get combat strength versus fortified defenders and combat strength defending versus range. I'm gonna go with combat strength versus fortified defender. And you're gonna just start scooting your way on down there. We've got a heavy chariot. And a Mamluk right here is gonna go down south. We've got that encampment down there still, so we're gonna need to take that out on the way to Spain. We are not gonna show Spain any mercy. I got Niter. I got Niter. That means I can make bombards. Fantastic. Okay. Am I going to be able to take Madrid without bombards? That's the question I have, because I am at Madrid's border now. Madrid, I don't know where their units are. It seems, ooh, Gilgamesh will tear your army apart with its own hands if you do not move them. What? 
My troops are merely passing by. What are you talking about? Oh, because you just founded a city. Oh, that's why. So you found a city where my troops are, and then you yell at me for where my troops are. That's a real dick move there, Gilgamesh. <laughs> it's a real dick move. So there we go. He finally founded a city, and he's got a second settler there too. So I'm kind of hoping that he declares war on me. So I can take out those cities. That would be very convenient. Okay, I've got a promotion for this Mamluk. I'm going to give him the combat promotion there. And a unit in his orders. This Mamluk is going to just move right here while this Mamluk moves in right here. My crossbowman's going to move in here. And my heavy chariot's going to move right there. Okay, now we've got quite a few units stationed outside of Madrid. One turn left until we have a builder. Who needs turn? Okay, you do. You're just going to say put. You're just going to say put. That's what you guys are going to do. Now that you've got the niter there, buddy. Oh, I can build lumber mills now. That's very helpful. I'm going to send you up to Aleppo. Have you build a lumber mill in two farms. Actually, a lumber mill in one farm, I should say. Oh, now you want a peace deal, do you? Isn't that interesting? No. No, you don't get a peace deal. You don't get to just declare war on me and then ask for peace because things aren't going your way. Because you see me lined up at your doorstep. Okay, boys. It's time to finish this. I'm going to send you in. Let's see how this battle goes. Are you going to be able to take out the heavy chariot? Heavy chariot looks like it survives. I'm going to send you right here. You're going to go take out this spearman. You're going to move in right here. And then I've got this crossbowman who's going to move in right where you were at. Now, I may end up losing some units this next turn. We'll see. Because he does have quite a few units that were hiding back here. I wasn't really expecting them to be back there, but that's okay. Okay, we've got a builder here. I can finally build a bombard. Wait, can I not? I need two niter. Oh, give me a break. Catapult fires at my Mamluk. Mamluk remains. Spearman attacks my Mamluk. Mamluk takes some damage. And now Madrid's probably going to bomb my Mamluk. No, it actually ends up bombing my catapult interesting choice okay now i can pull my mamluk back i've got two mamluks over here which can still do some good damage two more catapults and i've still got this heavy chariot okay mamluk you're gonna pull back right over here start moving in my crossbowman this crossbowman can actually open fire on madrid and that's exactly what it's gonna do how much damage did I do to the defense? A pretty good amount of damage. Gonna have this Mamluk attack the Spearman. And this Mamluk's gonna attack him as well. Spearman survives. And that Mamluk actually has promotion available. Madrid's catapult is firing at my Mamluk. Mamluk takes a moderate amount of damage. The Madrid fires at my crossbowman. My crossbowman stays alive. And that looks like the only attacks that he's going to be performing. So now I can pull this crossbowman back a little bit. Let him heal up. Okay, crossbowman. And this Mamluk actually has promotion available. I'm going to go ahead and give him his promotion. Combat strength versus units in districts. Oh, that's perfect, actually. My heavy chariot is going to pull in right here. I can attack with this crossbowman. And this crossbowman is going to just stay here and fortify until healed. As well as this one, fortify until healed. This Mamluk is going to move right here and fortify until healed. Now, what's cool about this is that his defense strength, his garrison defense strength, won't regenerate. His health will but his defense strength will not. So as long as I whittle down that defense strength, then we should be good. Now what I'm going to do is just pull these guys back, heal them up, and I'm going to go in for round two. Philo comes along, asks for a peace deal once again. He knows that he made the wrong decision going to war with me, and this is a problem with the AI in this game, is that they make these really bad choices. They make these really bad choices to declare war on me. Very ill thought out. Okay, so here we go. This Mamluk has still got plenty of strength left in him. I'm actually going to send him back. And we're going to wait to attack again. There we go. Send this guy back. And we've still got this crossbowman who's going to go ahead and take another attack here. 
Now, I'll probably get attacked from Madrid, and this Spearman will probably attack me too. So, I would say there's a 60-40 chance that I will survive or die next round. But I'm going to take those odds. Now, we're going to build a shrine here, a holy shrine. And... Got a lumber mill built, Hilder. Got a lumber mill built, so I'm going to build a farm next. Which should be the last use of that builder. It is. This builder, however, can build another farm here. There we go. Aleppo is developing very well. Who's got a promotion? You got a promotion? No, you don't. You don't got no promotion. What are you talking about? You can fire, though. And it may be a good idea to fire. I'm actually going to fire. Because if I can take down the strength of that spearman, then that just increases the chances of this crossbowman surviving next time. Okay, Spearman advances. Madrid fires on the crossbowman just as I expected. This Spearman, though, I don't think is going to attack, interestingly enough. Okay, a settler has been born, and I'm going to move that settler down here. Look at that. There's a river down here. There's trees. There's some nice plains for some farms. Actually, that's a pretty good spot to build. And I'm going to build an entertainment complex because it looks like I'm unhappy, which is probably a consequence of war. But an entertainment complex probably wouldn't be a bad idea in Cairo. So there we go. We're going to do that. And we're going to build ancient walls here in Aleppo. Actually, no. Aleppo. Oh, geez. I mean, you need a campus. Let's build the walls first, okay? Let's get your population up a little bit. Walls. Walls will do. So what do we got here? We've got a catapult making its way over here. I'm going to fire here on that catapult. Try to work it down a little bit. And then I'm going to fire here with my catapult as well. Beautiful. I'm going to use this catapult man to attack this spearman. I'm going to send this mamluk up around this way. While I attack with this mamluk. And then I also attack with this mamluk. Oh, nope. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to move you. I wanted to move this mamluk. Hello. Come on. I hate the way that this game auto-cycles sometimes. There we go. The Spearman has been taken care of. With minimal damage to my Mamluk, actually. A recent news article revealed that Samaria is expanding, adding the new settlement Adab. A recent news article revealed that Germany is expanding, adding the new settlement Hamburg. So, we've got sieves expanding, so it's probably smart that I start to expand, too. Okay, we're still good. We still haven't lost any units. You can actually be promoted, and I'm going to promote you to Aerostorm. Range strength versus land and naval units. Bam, that's good. That's going to heal you up. And you're probably going to be due for a promotion here soon, I would imagine. So I'm going to go ahead and use you to... Hmm. We're going to fire at this Spearman. And then you are going to fire at this Spearman too, which should probably clear out that Spearman. You could probably survive another volley from Madrid, I would imagine. I'm going to move you against this Spearman here. And if you don't clear him out, then this Mamla could probably do the job. Huh. Gilgamesh just denounced me. Why? Why? You broke my promise to me. Oh, because I settled? Wait, why? No, what promise? I didn't break a promise to you. What promise? The promise to move your troops on the border has been broken. Oh, give me a break. Are you kidding me? I said that they were merely passing through. Well, great. That That's dumb. I, I'm at war with Spain, for God's sake, and he's mad at me for not moving my troops. Now, that is just dumb. A recent news article revealed that Spain has used a heavy chariot to clear a barbarian outpost. Well, good for you. At least Madrid's doing something. But here's what's going to happen now. Here's what's going to happen now. I'm going to move this crossbowman right here, and we're going to open fire. I'm going to move this crossbowman here, and he's going to open fire. That's going to be the end of Madrid's defenses. I'm going to move you back and promote you. There we go. You're going to get Aerostorm as well. We've still got a Mamluk who's doing really well over there. I'm going to move this Mamluk up just a smidge. I'm going to go ahead and have you fortify until healed. This Mamluk is going to go ahead and swing around over here because it looks like this border is left pretty open. And there we go. This Mamluk is going to stay put. This Mamluk is going to stay put. This guy's going to build a lumber mill. And perfect. I think that that's going to be... Actually, you know what? I'm going to send this Mamluk 
right back here. That's what I'm going to do. You're going to be right there, buddy. Now it's your turn, Spain. What are you going to do? Oh, there was a catapult over there, was there? And I'm sure that Madrid's probably going to open fire on you as well. But that catapult hardly did any damage to me. Did Madrid not fire on that catapult man? Oh, apparently not. Very interesting strategy. Oh, you can't because I destroyed your walls. That's right. <laughs> you poor thing. So Madrid's health drops a bit now. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and open fire on you again. I'm going to bring this Mamluk in and take out this catapult. This Mamluk's also going to move in here and try to take out this catapult. Okay, this builder has one more turn in him, and I don't want to destroy any of this jungle, because jungle's good for us. Uh, there's Jade right there. Ooh, I'm going to keep you right there until we get access to that Jade, and then you're going to work it. You can fire on this catapult. It's dead! Yay! And then this Mamluk is going to move right up here. The catapult chooses to fire at that Mamluk instead of my crossbowman, which I think is probably a bad plan on his part. I would have used him to fire at the crossbowman myself, but this is why the AI is not good at war. Now, Madrid is still standing, but now I've got three crossbowmen who are in range to fire on it. Taking down its health significantly. And also two Mamluks that are in range to attack. So I'm going to go ahead and roll you in right here, okay? And, oh, this Mamluk is actually in range to attack this catapult, and that should spell the end of that catapult. How much damage did that Mamluk do? A pretty healthy amount. And I'm going to attack with you as well. How much damage did that Mamluk do? Holy moly. I should probably have this city by next turn. The question is, will these Mamluks survive? I think they will. This catapult's almost dead, for God's sake. Catapult fires at my Mamluk. Mamluk lives to fight another day. This catapult's probably going to fire at him as well, I would imagine. Oh, this crossbowman fires at him. He's still alive. He's still kicking. Oh, he's still alive. Perfect. That means I can actually pull him back to heal, and he will fight another day. I don't think I've lost one unit during this entire fight. Castles has been researched. I'm going to pull this Mamluk back. I'm going to go ahead and open a salvo of arrows onto Madrid. And then I'm just going to walk my Mamluk right into the city and take it. There we go. Shouldn't have any resistance now. Right there, Madrid is now ours. We have Spain's capital, and it was their fault for declaring war on me. Keep city? Of course I'm going to keep the city. I'm going to get an egregious warmonger penalty, which is pretty stupid, seeing as I didn't declare this war. But as it is right now, no one seems to like me, so I say nuts to it. Gilgamesh comes along, and he wants to make a trade deal. What do you want? You want some mercury, and you want marble. You want a lot of stuff for not a lot. You aren't going to give me crap for this. I'll tell you what. How about... You take this off the table, you give me this, and you give me this. How's that? And this, too. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm refuse it. Oh my god, he's grunting at me. Remember when he was nice? Remember when I said that he had kind eyes? I take it all back now. He has mean eyes. He has the eyes of a psychopath. There we go. Now you come to your... Wait, do you want me to cede Madrid? No. No. I will make peace, and you will give me money. Accept that deal. May the Lord bless you. There we go. Madrid is now mine. The war with Spain is over. I've got Mecca. Now I have six cities. Wow, we started this episode with four. We've got six, one of them being one of our, our other civs capitals. Is not gold. It looks like we've also figured out where Gilgamesh is stationed at. So it's only 1380 AD. I want to look at the demographics. Sumeria's leading. I'm in second place. Uh, Sumeria's leading domination victory. I'm in second place. I'm leading a culture victory and an unnet player is leading a religious victory. I'm thinking we need to take Sumeria out. They are our biggest threat at this point, and they seem to just be expanding. So I want to take out this city. It's kind of pointless, all right? Just raise that city. Go into Zaragoza. Take that city out. Go into Adab. Take that city out. What I need to do is get my hands on another source of Niter, because I need two sources of Niter, apparently, to make some bombards. So where do I have 
other sources of niter is the question. We've got a lot of niter over here, but do I want to build over there? Not really. Well, we're going to figure that out next episode, guys. That's where we're going to wrap it up.